really don't know that kid. It's only a snapshot of like a right. three-hour window of sitting down with this kid in a very abstract clinical setting. And that can't be the totality of who that child is. To really understand who a kid is, and every psychologist I talked to said this, you have to spend a lot of time with them. Visiting the home, like observing the child in the classroom, like extensive interviews with their families, especially if you're working cross country, there's some things that you may not understand. And so it sounds like your perspective on the IQ test is that like you, you, can, you can evaluate students without the IQ tests. Yeah, if you can't do IQ testing, there's 99 other things you can do. Wait, so then, why do it at all? I mean, I guess, I guess, that it can be helpful sometimes, like in the case of the kid with Harry Potter. But like, really, what it was to help the kid was Harry Potter. You know, like, that's what helped him actually read better, so... If we're in a situation now where we have all of these other tools available, and we know that the IQ test, however useful it can be, it also has some very bad mojo, historically attached to it but is it actually still worth keeping around yeah i found myself thinking that a lot you know just like from a pure cost benefit perspective maybe it needs to go yeah and and that's what i've been feeling until we came across this one story that pretty much completely changed my mind about it really we'll do that story after a quick break Hello, this is Kelly from Tokyo. Radio Lab is supported in part by Alfred P. Sloan Foundation, enhancing public understanding of science and technology in the modern world. More information about Sloan at www.sloan.org. This is Richard in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Radio Lab is supported by MD Anderson Cancer Center, now enrolling patients with myeloma and groundbreaking clinical trials. MD Anderson Cancer Center, making cancer history. More at MD Anderson Myeloma. Beautiful Brooklyn, New York. Radio supported by Transport was built to make spending money internationally easier. Eight million people and businesses use TransferWise to send, receive, and convert currencies in more than 80 countries. More at TransferWise.com or on the app. Hello, this is Priyanka Tiwari from Philadelphia, and you're listening to 90.9 WHYY. Currently 84 degrees, raining in Philadelphia at 120. Six months ago, Ahmad Arbery was killed in Georgia. His killers walked free for more than two months. Coming up later this afternoon, we explore the role of district attorneys, their power, and the ways that police accountability goes awry. On the New Yorker Radio Hour, do join us today at 3 on WHYY. Supporting WHYY Independence Blue Cross, IBC is excited to share news about the 2020 BPHL Innovation Festival taking place September 15th through the 17th. This year's festival featured three days of virtual content open to everyone, mixed with socially distanced experiences taking place around Philadelphia. We'll also focus on supporting COVID-19 recovery efforts. Registration for this virtual innovation fest is open to all. BPHLfest.com after a hard-hitting Democratic convention, President Trump and the GOP are looking to land blows of their own at the Republican National Convention. We're going to fight for every job, every family, every neighborhood, and every vote. Join us this coming week for live coverage of the RNC beginning Monday from NPR News.